welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here for those of you that have been waiting patiently for this tutorial uh, i hope i can like give it the justice that it deserves and um, i hope it's gonna be worth the wait for you and i'm really sorry i didn't get this out sooner uh, my goal was to get it out before the summer but the summer decided to kick me in the ass and um <laughs> i fell on my ass no, I just, I've been so busy and distracted all summer and, you know, now it's way past summer. Well, kind of anyway, but, um, I'm here now and I'm getting this video out now for you. It is a three part series though. I, I couldn't wrap my head around doing an all in one video for this, uh, mod, or mod organizer, <laughs> this mod overview. And this is what it is. It is a mod overview. So it's just, uh, I'm just going to be showing you how I use it and how it works for me. It may not be the same for you so make sure just watch the videos through before you you know do anything if anything does happen don't blame me of course you know you need to back up your sims 3 documents user folders before we do anything that's one number one so if anything does go awry which i highly doubt it won't, will but just in case you always want to do that anyways it's always a good idea so uh just to be safe we're gonna do that first uh before we install it but like i said your setup is you know different than mine what works for me might not work for you you know just take the good and leave the bad kind of thing think take the things that work for you and leave the things that don't you might end up at the end of everything realizing that well hey this really isn't going to work for me and i i understand that so that's what i'm saying just make sure to uh watch everything through first just to make sure that it is the right program for you the way you your workflow and the way you you do everything for the people that are new to mods and custom content i'm going to go over not only how to install it but also go over some tips in that and some recommendations that you might want to go check out and kind of learn for yourself some things before diving into uh, a mod like this so it is exciting to have an alternative with sims 3 it's hard enough with the game trying to manage your things and then trying to manage it with a program like your custom content and that when it's a program that's not um you know behaving properly or is really unstable and that's the thing with CC Magic. I've used it. I used it for quite a long time, and uh, but I ran into some issues myself with it and stuff. And just to me, it was like oh, frustrating. So when I heard about the mod organizer, you know, I really wanted to um, check it out and and see if it was going to be something worth trying. So that was one thing I'm also going to go over is the comments on Mod The Sims. I've combed through the comments quite a few times, and I've noticed that it is really confusing especially if you're somebody who's not really tech savvy sims 3 players are average players or not i'm not saying everybody but a lot are not very computer savvy not very tech savvy and a lot of the comments surrounding mod the organizer is i, I don't know why i said mod the organizer mod organizer <laughs> the mod organ it's the mod and cc organizer okay anyways um a lot of people that are familiar with how to create uh, mods and all that um they have like a different kind of lingo and it's it's tech tech lingo and it's a lot of it's hard to understand when it comes to the sims 3 it's like a language of its own so that's why i understand when people went um you know commented throughout the comments you know like i'm so confused like what does this mean what does that mean i'm not knocking the author okay the author is obviously pretty smart and intelligent the author just got burnt out like he he or she had said in the comments that they're just burnt out they're not sure when they're gonna update the program and wasn't very transparent on explaining properly how to use the program to people that need it kind of dumbed down you know a bit okay so i'm gonna go over all that and try my best to articulate what i understand how the program works the first thing you're gonna want to do before anything you want to back up your sims 3 documents folder obviously so that's the really important thing so wherever your sims 3 is installed obviously mine is installed on a different drive why is this going up like that okay <laughs> so mine's on my d drive um, most of you are gonna have it installed on your c drive i believe it's in 
like I can't remember it's been so long is it in program program I might even still yeah I still have it here it's just uh, this is all blank because there's nothing in it yeah so anyways you're gonna have yours in probably your program files mine is just on my D drive or you can just go to documents on your sidebar there on the left your documents is usually there you can just click on there <laughs> and go into electronic arts and then this your folder here sim 3 you just want to you know copy and paste it somewhere where you have room and somewhere that's you know safe it's always a good idea to do this anyways obviously so if i haven't said so already little disclaimer if anything does go wrong don't blame me don't get mad at me okay so you need to do your own due diligence and understand a little bit about how cc and mods work in your game and you know how to manage them yourself without using any kind like cc magic or or the mod organizer or sims 3 package editor there is prerequisite if you're really new to mods and custom content you're not gonna have enough hopefully not have enough custom content to really you're you're not really gonna need to use any kind of program anyways you're just gonna need the mods framework at first until you start accumulating a lot of stuff that's when you want to look into these kind of programs to merge your stuff in that because you're going to have a lot and as we all know the sims 3 can't handle it can only handle so much <laughs> So yeah, the less files um, that it has to tackle through, uh, the better. And the cleaner the files are, the better as well. The second thing you want to do is hopefully you have enough room on your drive. Your if I, I don't know if you have one drive or two drives or three drives, whatever. You're gonna need a drive that has enough space to put the mod organizer program, and that's where you install it and leave it there. And that's where all your CC and mods are gonna go into. So for me, I install it on my G drive here you can see I have quite a bit uh, of room there so so the first thing you want to do is go into that drive and create a new folder and so I call mine s3 mo and so I put actually put it into my tools folder so I create a tool sims 3 tools folder and this is where I put all my helper programs for the sims 3 and this is the folder here s3 mo like I said that's what I call it and so this is where I install these are all the files that come with the program so we'll get back to that so then you just want to navigate open up your browser and navigate to the mod organizer you can see here okay so goker i think that's how you pronounce it he or she there's it there's an intention a warning here the creator of this download is not logged into mts for some time the items displayed here can thus be considered unsupported and you should use them at your own risk so yes you're doing this at your own risk you can't blame anybody else if something goes wrong you got to make sure that um, you understand what you're doing and I'm gonna do my best to help you understand before you do anything anyways <laughs> all right so here uh, you're gonna need the dotnet 6 0.0 runtime otherwise the program's not going to work so this is a prerequisite you need this so when you click on it it'll just bring you to that um, page where you can download it so if you're not sure if you want to just check if you have it or not you can do so i'll show you here you just go to your c drive and then you want to open up program files and then you want to look for dotnet here open that up open up shared and then microsoft.net core Dot app and if you have it it'll be here the file will be here 6.0 if you don't have it then you just you know you want to install it of course so installing it is pretty straightforward so just click on this link so then you want to install it for of course whatever device you're using I use this tutorial is for Windows PC I don't know how anything works with uh, Linux or Mac I had a Mac a few years ago but I didn't play Sims 3 on it much <laughs> so I'm not sure uh, but like I said this is for Windows desktop you just uh, go under uh, run desktop apps here so download 64 that's the one you want click on that and then you know it'll download go into your downloads folder click on the executable there once you click on that and and run it run it it's it's really straightforward it's simple click click through it and install it whatever done all right once you're done that like i said you want to make sure that you create a file for the program and go to the downloads 
and then it's just one program here or one little file here there's a zip file if you want to just click on that or click on the download over here go to your downloads so i'm just going to highlight that right click it extract all and then point it to whatever wherever the folder is that you made for it sims 3 tools and s3 and yeah. and so just extract it and so just close all this up because i don't need to do that so you should see all of this in here all these files you'll have your mod uh, mods uh folder and this is where you're gonna put all your mods in your cc and then you have the regular executable program so s3mo.exe that's it there so you just want to click that and when you first open this program up it's going to do its little scan and run through and so you want to let it do its thing before you do anything otherwise you'll get a really annoying error message every time not that it does anything but it's just you know it can be annoying <laughs> So you're not going to see all these. This is all my folders that I've already put in. So I have moved from CC Magic and transferred over to this program. For me, I just wanted to get rid of CC Magic altogether and just transfer everything over. And so that's what I've been in the middle of doing. I still haven't transferred all my custom content over. I've been doing it really slow. I, like I said, this summer has just been, I haven't even really played Sims 3 or <laughs> done anything really. I think I, I've streamed it a few times, but that's about it. I don't know. I also get burnt out, right? You need a break sometimes. And yeah, that's my excuse. So anyway, <laughs> So for a lot of people, they want to keep their CC Magic. There's a way you can use CC Magic and this program together. I'll show you how to do that. And also, if you just want to use CC Magic for your collections and put everything else in the mod organizer, you can do that as well. And so I ended up uninstalling CC Magic altogether and just using this. But I did reinstall CC Magic uh, just for the sake of this video so I can show you how to set everything up if that's what your situation is this is where all these little icons up here I'm gonna go over this in my next video so this was basically just a video just to get you go and get it installed on your computer anyway so you're you know ready to go and so I'm also going to close this up now go over a little bit of recommendations of let's see I gotta bring up my browser now one thing before you start I'm just gonna bring this over here and get this address here for you and of course all these links will be left below in the description as usual let me just copy and paste this over here and let's go here to this address yes so what I recommend doing before um, going any further, or maybe just uh, giving this a, a read through, and this is understanding mods and CC conflicts uh, with Delphi's dashboard. But whether you're using Delphi's dashboard or not, you're new to, to CC and mods, this is a really good article to go over. It's a really good learning tool here to explain how things work and it'll help you be able to manage your CC a, a lot better and understand the mod, mod organizer a lot better too if you go over this first. So this is my recommendation. Just, you know, give it a read through and make sure you check out the second part video in this three part series where I will go over how I use the mod organizer and some pros and cons you might want to consider. Also for the third video where I'll go over how you can use it with CC Magic. If those videos are out, go check them out. If not, keep your eye out for them. Please also consider giving this video a like and subscribing if you haven't already. And that brings this video to a conclusion. Thank you for watching and until next time, over and out.